In June of 2001, I was born to two wonderful parents in the country of the Philippines. Both of my parents and their family have grown up there and lived there for most of their lives. My sister Icy was born there as well. After my parents got married, they've been wanting to immigrate to the United States for a long time. My dad's side of the family were starting to move there in hopes of a better life. The United States was known for the land of opportunity and freedom, and my parents would have more opportunities for themselves and their future kids. They knew that if they moved there, we could live more comfortably. It took years for my parents to get the green light on being able to immigrate to the United States. There were a lot of requirements and tests they had to go through to make sure they weren't dangerous or sick and educated enough to live there. We were lucky enough and we finally moved to California in 2004. We lived with my uncle and his family who were already staying here while we looked for a new house to move into permanently. Everything was okay for the first few years we were there and then I had to start school. Kindergarten was hard. I remember it very vividly. I couldn't speak English and it was hard to make friends. They really didn't know how to talk to me. I'd always cry because no one wanted to be my friend and I never understood what the teacher was saying. I started getting used to it and I learned English naturally. I started making friends and all was well. In 2007, my sister Louine was born and that's when our family became complete. My parents raised me as if we still lived in the Philippines. They had strict rules and traditional Filipino morals. They are very conservative and very religious. Most of my lectures as a child were usually based on religion and what God would have wanted me to do. Flash forward to sixth grade, I moved to another school so I had to say goodbye to my friends that I've known for for a long time and adapt to a new environment with new people. And I started noticing things that made me different from everyone else. I started bringing a packed lunch to school and it usually consisted of rice and eggs, rice and sausage, or anything my dad can pack rice with. Everyone first thought it was weird that I always had rice and random Filipino food. It had a distinct smell. I'd always feel embarrassed because I didn't have lunch bowls or a PB&J like all my other classmates. Other people would make fun of me because I would pronounce things differently, like comfortable, like comfortable. That's how my parents taught me how to say it. Every time I correct them, they tell me that their English isn't their first language and that I should be patient. I'd also feel embarrassed if I went somewhere with my dad because he had a very thick Filipino accent and people wouldn't understand him and I'd have to translate. Even though there were times where we didn't fit in, I still love them so much and I'll forever appreciate the things they did and went through for us. Oh my god, we totally jumped off the cliff and had to zoom all the way to shore because the dog chased us all the way to the end.